There we are. We are moving on to this is what I would call this is uh, this this section with the big TV will be used for a great many things, including um, the celebration appreciation corner. And what that corner is, if you read my rules, you know what it is. You got a bit of a taste there, but just in case you don't know, oh shit, come on, there we go. All right, there we go. In case you don't know, the celebration appreciation corner is where I where I want to talk about things for people to enjoy. Uh, that is what you enjoy in entertainment, what I enjoy in entertainment, and what I like to do here is I want to celebrate. Something in your life that touched you, helped you, made you feel happy, or got you through a rough time. That's what I like to do here. I want to do that. In this corner, I will do that. And um, no criticism is allowed of what you like. And because, because I particularly want to talk about things that are unpopular. That, for some reason, for whatever the reason, meant something to you. And now, I won't be talking about it with obviously anyone in the chat since no one seems to be interested. But what I will do is I will talk about my own. Because I will never ask my chat to do something that I myself am unwilling to do. Am unwilling to do. So, I will put myself on the front line first. Um, that, was always, that was always the intention. And I will talk about a work of the entertainment business that's not very popular, but it means a lot to me. And so the rules of this corner are simply, for, let me start out the rules for me, the one who's presenting what I love. Um, I am not allowed to rub it in people's faces, say, ha, 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 I like this so much, up yours, up yours, na, 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 na. no, 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 no. That is not love or appreciation. That is choosing a negative out outlet to talk about something that maybe made you feel good or not, when really negativity is your focus. That is not allowed here, not whatsoever. I will ban and mute and kick the living hell out of you if you do that. Or if I do it, I will end this fucking stream and kick the living hell out of myself. And another rule is that when you talk about it, it really needs to be talked about what made what 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 it is about it that you like, what felt real good and awesome about it. Oh, and for the record, um, I you sort of got a little bit of my improv in the beginning, uh, in that I didn't do it in the performance corner, but I did it a lot in the main stage and so on and so forth. I didn't write a lot of that, and not even my opening monologue. I just thought of it on the fly because I just <laughs> I, it's kind of annoying to write all this stuff. I don't have a schedule that permits it right now. Anyway. Back on to the Celebration Appreciation Corner. So, without further ado, I am going to talk about something that I love. And remember, here's what is not allowed. You're not allowed to talk down to it. You're not allowed to criticize it. You're not allowed to say something that's like, I don't like that. I'm going to tell you this right now. I've been in many chats. I've never once said something, said, I don't like that. Or, I'm not a big fan. I've never said that. And I've heard a lot of people talk good stuff, talk praise about things I find to be absolutely shit, but they liked it, and that matters more to me than my disdain for it, and so that's what I focus on. Therefore, I ask the same of you, please, refrain from talking shit about something that I love, because that's what this is about, talking about the nice about it. And I now here's what I understand. I understand the urge to get it out, right? So all I would do is I would yell off screen, not type it up, God damn it, that thing sucks. Why the fuck do you like that shit? But they would never know. That is respect to what they love and respect to my emotions that I don't love it. So, that's what I asked you, the chat, if anyone's there, um, to do. The audience, my audience. I asked that I asked that of you. If you cannot do it the first, the first time, I understand. But now these rules have been established. If you do it a second time, I will mute you. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's talk about a childhood favorite. I didn't get this ready, so I don't know. Uh -huh, and there it is. The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle, the live action one. That's right. This is the one that I. There we go. On the big screen. Yes. This one right here. This, this movie was very fun. I really like it. Even to this day, I truly do. And, um, oh, hello there, uh, Kage, the Kage sama. Nice, nice heart design. 
Um, I hope you're listening to the rules, because I'm going to go on right now. And so, anyway, um, as a kid, uh, this was like one of the first two movies I watched in theaters. Um, not saw for the first time in theaters, but when I saw the trailer, I turned to my mother and I said, Hey, that looks good, Mom. And I never said that about a trailer ever before. I was a little shy as a kid, so I didn't like uh, speaking out about that. Certainly not in public places. And The Adventure of Rocky and Bullwinkle was one of them. Along with Remember the Titans. Though both those trailers, I forget what movie it was. but And Remember the Titans is a good movie, too. But I actually like this one more. And I still do. And <laughs> um, back in the day, I... Oh, wait. Hold on a second. What's this? Looks like we got a surprise guest uh, coming along. Capybara. <laughs> Hello. That was the bee. That's my brother, the bee. <laughs> He'll pop around from time to time. Um, he came to the, for the debut. Thanks, bro. Capybara. <laughs> and there he goes. I love my brother. We're very close. Anyway, so yes, The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. Um, to recap, I was a kid when this came out. So, and... At the time, this was like one of my favorite movies of all time, truly. Um, you know, it's got Robert De Niro, Jason Alexander, Rene Rousseau, I think Janine Graffalo, even Carl Reiner makes an appearance, Jonathan Winters, Whoopi Goldberg, uh, Piper Pirablo, is that, is that correct? Very young at the time, and of course the legendary um, June Foray as the voice of Rocky, the Flying Squirrel. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know Bullwinkle's voice, unfortunately. He was a newer guy. He was also the voice of the narrator of the movie. Um... So I love the heck out of this film. Uh, I, I, um, <laughs> you know, you rate a scale of 1 to 10. Well, when I was a kid, I probably gave this movie in Overboard, is what my brother and I called it. O.V., Overboard, which means over the top of the top. And this was one of, like, only five films at the time that we gave the over the top to. We watched it so much that during long car rides, we would recite this entire movie to pass the time. Our parents loved it. It was so cute. I was Rocky. I'm Rocky. I talk like that. You know, Bullwinkle. Uh, 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 you weigh 500 imaginary pounds. <laughs> anyway, he was um, Bullwinkle. Um, and he was like, hey, Rocky, the la 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 la, so on, so on, so on, forth, so on. Anyway, um, so that was one of the things we used to do with this. And we rewatched re -watched it, like, about a few years ago, my brother and I. The B. Um, sorry, B, about that possible slip up there. I'll, I'll try and edit it. <laughs> oh, live streams. Anyway, so we watched it a few years ago. We were doing that, rewatching things that we did that we liked a lot before, but may have different opinions of now. And this was one of them. And I still love it to this day. It's really fun. I think it's truly funny. And I'm not gonna mock it in any way. I, there's nothing about it to mock for me. I, I can't. Uh, even the joke in the opening where Janine Graffalo, I think, is going through the scripts and she goes, too intelligent. I didn't get that from the start. When I first saw that, I, I thought it meant it was too hard for her to read. So that's why she shredded it up. Not there was a crack on Hollywood scripts. But now I get it. So yeah, The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. There you go. I like this one <laughs> to this day. Like I said, man, was Robert De Niro skinny in this. I mean, of all the films to work out for it, Rocky and Bullwinkle, who knew? All right, so that's, and that's how, that's one of the, let's see, I'm trying to think of the thing, oh, I love their um, national anthem, Pennsylvania. That thing's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know why they just broke out and did that. <laughs> Pennsylvania, and so on. So that's the uh, appreciation celebration corner. I would love to celebrate and appreciate something uh, that you enjoy uh, down the road or now. Uh, you know what? Let's not go now. I'm getting tired. This has been running a little bit, so we'll do it another day. But, yeah, I will do an impromptu sort of thing and ask members who are the people who are viewing me to join me on Discord uh, to either voice chat or text chat, and I will act out the text. Or you will speak, and you will, and we will hear your lovely voice on here. This is for the chat, not just the guests, not just the VTuber guests. I do this for the uh, for the chat, uh, the audience, so that they can talk about something that is underappreciated or frowned upon. And here's a place where you can express it without feeling like you're going to be looked down upon, or you know, smugged at, or given constructive criticism, which is really most of the, a lot of times when it coming from a jerk is a guy is for I want to be a dick, but I have to come with a reason why you won't get mad at me. I don't know how many of you have experienced that. I have experienced it plenty of times, and therefore I don't talk with those people anymore or bring up things I love to those kinds of people anymore. It just doesn't make sense to me. 
So, yeah, there's a celebration appreciation corner. And let's get back to the main stage. <laughs> 